What's up, guys? If you're like me on a warm, sunny day in February or March like today, it's March 8th. It's like almost 60 degrees outside. It's beautiful. You're getting excited for the fishing season to begin. So I thought I'd do a quick video on just getting everything ready to go, prepping your boat, making sure all your tackle's ready to go, because in a matter of a few short weeks, you'll be out on the water chasing after some of those fish. So I was gonna put a quick video together for you today to kind of walk through getting your gear ready and getting your boat in tip top shape so you can have some fun on the water. The first step is to locate your gear. Now I keep all my gear inside my garage throughout the winter. So it's outside of my boat compartments. That tends to spare it from sweating with uh, dramatic changes in temperature and keeps the condensation inside the tackle boxes low. I also tend to keep all my batteries charged up over the winter and keep all my seats and everything placed inside as well to keep them protected. So we're going to take these out to the boat and we'll just kind of run through a quick video putting everything together. So once you get into your boat, you get it all open. You want to make sure you wipe any moisture down that's been left in there from the winter. Check your storage compartments for any water. That's where I keep my life jackets, which is good and straight. And the last thing I need to do is put my seat covers back up. I'm going to wipe these down at the beginning of each spring to make sure I prevent any uh, moisture that's been trapped in there or any kind of uh, bacteria or mold that's growing on there before I install them. You want to make sure you check your batteries if they're good and, uh, good and ready to roll for the new season. And then the best part is put all your tackle in the boat which will be in it. And before I load all my boxes in my storage compartments, I don't know if some of you have tried this, I've seen this before and it works really good to help prevent some of the moisture if you get rained on or from the winter is to buy some of these little packets of silica gel. And this uh, desiccant chemical that's in these things really helps keep the moisture down. So you can put these in there, and some of them come with you can see through this package. There's kind of like a yellowish color one. When those colors start to change, that tells you when you need to replace these packets. Otherwise, they keep a lot of your hooks and stuff from rusting up pretty bad. So I started using these a couple years ago, and these have been pretty helpful. Minus a couple of spoons in here that were already old, but these frogs and the hooks that are on the frogs are all in really good shape. So and get started putting your tackle in. It's also a good time to organize and put bike baits together so that when you're fishing out on the water, you're more efficient with going after the tackle that you're looking for. Two of the things I found very beneficial is a little case like this that carries your smaller Plano boxes, your bait boxes. You can actually put these down inside your boat and just pull your tackle boxes right out. And for the winter time, I got these on clearance for Bass Pro once. It's kind of like a bag, but you can put a bunch of your bags in and carry them to and from the boat pretty easily. I don't store this in the boat for obvious reasons, but I carry it for the winter time. And then of course I have everything kind of labeled, so it's good to go. So we'll take this and we'll load it up in the deck. So we'll be good. Another really important tip is to take each of your lines. And if you're fishing, let's say, Senko like this, uh, a lot of times I'll fish it to a leader and a mono leader as an example. Nice clear line tied to braid so I can have better feeling. Uh, good time to go ahead. This one's not actually set up this way, but uh, in preparation for the spring season, go ahead and get all of your leaders tied to your other braid line or whatever line you so choose. That way things good to go in advance. You don't have to be messing with this out on the water, whether you're throwing some crankbaits early in the spring season or maybe you're going to throw a Senko, or better yet, another great bait for early season, of course, is a, a chatterbait. And so I like to get all these things ready to go on all my poles. Maybe hit them with a little bit of real magic. Maybe replace the line if the line is a little bit old. You need to get those changed up, and then everything is good to go for the whole season. You don't have to lose any precious time potentially catching fish, putzing around with your tackle. So, again, looking forward to catching some this spring. All right, guys, so once you get all your tackle boxes organized, ready to go for this year, I make sure, again, I put in the silica packets to make sure everything stays good and dry. Then I load up the boxes, as you can see, down inside. I like to make sure I have all my gear ready to go. And the last thing that I like to do is make sure things that you need quick, like your scissors, cutting uh, your line, and your pliers, give them a nice good coat of WD-40. That way they're nice and easy to utilize because there's nothing worse than having a fish on the line and then you can't get them off. So I like to keep all this stuff right down inside here, easy, ready to quick and grab them when the fish is on the line. You can get them all taken care of. So uh, we'll get our batteries all put in, crank the motor once to make sure it's good to go, and then we're ready to hit the water. So we hope to bring you some exciting videos throughout this season of uh, myself and some good friends out on the water and the adventures that are forthcoming. 
So uh, work hard and take some relaxation time. We'll catch you guys later. See ya.